Hello everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm here with Raptorworks. Today I'd like to introduce you to our new high lift jack mounting system. So come on over, hang out with me for a few minutes while I show you all the features packed into our new product line. What we have here is our basic high lift jack mount. There are three major parts to this mount. Number one, the base, two, the washer, and three, the securing bolt. The base and the washer are manufactured from billet 6061 aluminum and has a mil-spec hard anodized coating for years of hard use. One of the features that we really wanted to add to this unit was the ability to prevent the securing bolt from backing out. So we designed a jack mount to receive a standard nylock nut. This does two things for us. Number one, we have a nylock nut that prevents the bolt from backing out. And number two, and more importantly, this allows the end user to be able to service the unit over the lifespan of the product. As we all know, after you screw a bolt into and out of a nylock nut a few times, eventually the nylon locking element blows out and you end up with a standard nut that doesn't really retain anything. So here we have an assembled jack mount base. In order to change out the nylock nut, we simply remove the two screws, remove the capture plate, and now we have access to change out the nylock nut and replace it with a new one. This gives us a fresh system to keep your jack secure. So now that you have a brief understanding of our high lift jack mount system, let's go over here and take a look at a few different configurations that we have set up for you. Here we have our high lift jack mounting system implemented in a few different ways. On the top is our basic unit attached to one of our modular roll bar racks. The high lift jack bases directly attach to the crossbar and then secure the jack in place. Then on the bottom, we have the same unit except with the addition of two tool holder brackets, which attach the front and the rear of the high lift jack bases. These tool holder brackets are purchased as pairs and you can order one or two pairs depending on your specific needs. We know that there's a lot of options out there for tool holders that will accomplish the basic task of holding onto a tool. But quite frankly, they didn't stand up to our standards. That's why we went with the pack tool holder, specifically for its toughness. These guys are the same ones that you'll see on emergency service and military vehicles. They're manufactured 100% in the US and they come with a full lifetime warranty. Let's go back over to the table. I have a few more things to show you. So as you can see, there are several different ways to configure our high lift jack mounting system. So now let's take a closer look at the tool holder brackets and some of the other components. What we have laid out here are several different configurations in which our high lift jack mount can be used. Here is the basic configuration for our high lift jack mount. If you are just looking for a solid, clean, and very sturdy method of securing your high lift jack, this is it. As we showed you earlier, we can create more storage options by building off of the base high lift jack mount by either adding a single pack tool holder or two pack tool holders. All the systems can be purchased at one time or expand as you need it. Right behind the pack tool holder is our attach bracket. It also has been completely machined out of 6061 aluminum and hard anodized. This is the clearance for the jack handle. We've also incorporated some cutouts in the brackets for weight reduction and other additional strap tie down spots for securing a load if necessary. One last thing we would like to bring up is a couple of our builder brackets. We're developing a whole line of brackets specific for custom installations and many of these brackets will require some welding and or custom fitting. Previously in the video we had our high lift jack storage system attached to one of our modular roll bar racks. These racks work well for that simple bolt in installation. However, we do realize that the bolt-in approach is not for everyone, so we also manufacture these crossbar registers. Currently, the registers come in either a two-hole or eight-hole configuration. They are machined from three-quarter inch by one and a half 1018 cold finished steel. The registers were designed to be a weld-in item to take the place of our aluminum crossbar. They can either be welded to a flat surface or you can weld them to a round tube as we have machined an alignment groove in the bottom of the register to aid the assembly process. As with all of our product, the registers come with a full complement of radiuses for a smooth finish when installed. Thanks again for watching our video today. If you haven't already, check us out on Facebook. We're always designing and developing new products and that is going to be the first place that you can see them. 
Once again, my name is Kelly with Raptorworks. Have a great day.